Um, today we're going to work with the mannequins, and I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, we've done this before, most of you, but I think you have to do it every year to get the right, um, to learn how to draw the figure a little bit better each year. Now, when you look at the figure, turn around if you're not um, facing me. Turn around. When you look at the figure, it's divided into many sections with, with um, balls, balls that, that twist so you can, you can get a sense of um, how they move now and how they divide into sections. Now, if you look at it, one of the first things I want you to, to notice is the um, shape of the head. It's like a ponder. Good, very good. It's not. It's not a circle. It's a very close and it, when you look at it, it looks a lot like a pomegranate scene. It's a, an oval that's sort of brought to a, a head here, and then there's a right jump here. You have another joint, and what's that? There are knees. Right now, this this part, the trunk of the body. You see how it's, oh, it's wider at this. <laughs> that's great. That, that you, that's wonderful. So it's wider at the top, and it goes down. And then there's another ball joint kind of thing. And then we have the bottom of the torso. Okay. Then right here, another ball. Now look at the length. Of, look at the length of the thigh. It's a lot longer than most people draw it. It's, it's very, very long. It's almost as long. And then joint again, and the bottom part of the leg, which is even longer than the thigh. So what I want you to do, I'll put this one down here. What I want you to do is I want you to begin with the head. But I want you to think about how big the page is, how you can fit everything into it. So you're going to begin with the, pay, the top with, I, I like the pomegranate seed, I may use that now. It's an elongated oval. And then you need another section. Really look, I want you to draw, I want you to draw what you see, not what you know or think you know about the body. That's why it's important that you really, really look. We're going to make, make the shoulder lines like this, bring them out, and down. Now some of you, most of the most of the mannequins have a little dip here. It's worth your drawing it because when you shade it in, it'll give you another opportunity to, to shade. Yes, ma'am. Um, so are you supposed to like just make it in or like make exactly. it? Exactly. Draw that no. I want the arms down so you can see that the arms go almost down to the knee. Not like a Tyrannosaurus Rex and they're up here. You don't want that, so you want them down. That's why they're that's why they're now you are down. You're gonna bring this part in. It's not as wide as this. This part is slimmer. Now what this is a big mistake that a lot of kids make. They end up making this part of the body really, really big like this, and then they put the rest down like this and little stick legs like this. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's cute, but it doesn't work. Look at the shape here in the leg. You see? I know it's a curve. It's a curve. A curve, then a, another ball, then another curve, and then you can put the big <gasps> clown foot on there. Okay? So why don't we start, think about how it's going to fit on the page. Think about... <laughs> put them down straight. 